today we're gonna talk about water pumps. Our water pump has died three times. The first two times, it was in the first like six months. Then I figured it out and now this time I was checking the water pump and I broke it. I broke this little piece. So now we have to change it. And the other two water pumps that I have, they stopped working because of the switch. It's a very, very common problem that the water pumps have. So the switch looks something like this. We have this one, which is the one that broke off. This one, the switch stopped working. This one, the switch stopped working, which is very common. So today we're gonna be installing a water weld pump switch. These things will last forever we're gonna be installing that plus uh, a pressure pressure meter so we can regulate the pressure with that well water pump switch and the switches that the water pumps bring originally they're pretty weak and fragile so they can stop working at any time or let's say your water tank it's empty and you leave it on they can burn out real quick like in an hour or maybe less so yeah, that, that might be a reason why ours stopped working the first six months. I have another problem, which I think our water pump is getting some air from somewhere. So we might have, we might have a leak. So I'm gonna be installing first the switch with the pressure gauge. We're gonna turn it on, see how it works. And we can find out if we have a leak or if we don't have a leak. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can so I can show you guys. So we're gonna be using this one, the Euro pump. This one says it's 12 volts, six amps, 40 PSI. So the flow is 17 liters. And the one we were using was 15 liters per minute, which I think it's almost the same. And But this one was 55 PSI. So that matters because you have to also adjust your pressure tank, which we did last time when we changed to this one. We, ad we adjusted the pressure tank. It's a little tank, I'll show you guys. And you could just pump air into it or release some air. And you gotta see what's your low cutoff pressure. So with this one, we get water through here and it comes out through here, through this hole. So the idea is to put the switch after it comes out. So switch, we're gonna put it like this. And then, We put in the switch right here and then the meter or we should do the meter and then the switch yes so we're gonna do it like this we have the setup water goes up, comes out of the pump to the psi then it comes to a switch and then it goes out to whatever it needs to go it is it has four terminals the two center ones are the motor ones so we got positive negative and this is gonna be positive from the boat, negative from the boat. Pretty simple. If you have grounds, you connect the grounds. Ground for from the pump, ground from the from the boat. But we don't have a ground. We only have a positive and negative since it's a tow boat. I don't know if it's gonna work since this is made for a house, but we're gonna try it out. We were told this by another cruiser that has been cruising for a long time. So that's why, why we're gonna go with this and why we're not gonna replace the switch on this Japsco. And we're gonna leave that one as a spare just in case this one doesn't work. These are too small. These ones are like 16 gauge. And I think the wire is a little bit thicker. So we're gonna go with the blue ones. Let's see if they work. They do work. So we're gonna go with this ones. They're a little bit more thick. We're going with blue ones. Okay, so now we're gonna measure that the distance for the cables are, are good. We got the negative cable, but the negative, negative cable doesn't reach. So we're gonna extend it with these little piece. 
Okay guys, so now we have the negative cable. We did a little extension, which, which we can connect here and the positive here or I mean positive on the left side negative on the left on the right side negative positive and this is gonna be positive from the boat negative from the boat okay now I'm gonna go put the pump in the location connect everything turn it on see what happens okay guys so I installed the water pump it goes right there This is gonna be a negative to the boat and positive to the boat. I'm done doing this the installation. I'm gonna show you how it's connected so you guys could do it in your boat too. So we got the water pump right here. So it comes from the water tanks through a hose, right? Boom boom. Small strainer. To the water pump and then we got the pressure gauge and then the pressure switch so this is how it's connected so the two middle ones this one and that one are one is for pump for the motor positive motor negative so this one right here motor positive motor negative and then we got from the 12 volts we got 12 volt positive 12 volt negative so it's 40 psi's and when it gets down to 20 psi's it turns on most of you guys that have water pump issues that is like 90% of the times it's gonna be a switch so now you have a solution pretty easy to do just take a couple of minutes hours it depends on the space you gotta work in cables I might might put a little bit more pressure I might put it up to like 45 psi's instead of 40 so it takes more time to turn on the pump so it's not every time you turn on like it takes a while for for the pump to to turn on after we open up like the the sink or the shower but we want a little bit more pressure not too much pressure because a hose can pop or something or a connection but we're gonna go between 45 and then 20 at low pressure so if you turn on the water and your pumps runs like right away that means your pressure tank it might be off or your pressure switch is gonna soon be dead so you might wanna just like when you turn on the water here the pump it takes a few seconds for the pump to turn on and then turn off turn on turn off and if your pump stops working try to disconnect the switch and connect it to 12 volt power see if the motor is working don't throw it away you could just fix it real like cheap for like 20 dollars you could make the, this setup so yeah don't throw it away or just give it to someone that that's willing to reuse it because i mean usually a switch is like 40 to 60 dollars and a brand new pump it's gonna cost you 80 dollars so inside the case of the well water pump which is this one there's the specifications so you can see it says the cutting pressure so on in is 20 psi and off out will be 40 psi i will also put all the pieces that you need in the description so you could just buy everything and put it together okay so i'm gonna uh, show you how you could know if your switch is, it's not working and you can just test the motor on your pump so I'm gonna show you how you can connect it. So you have two cables coming out of the switch. One goes to the positive power, 12 volts. 
and from the back you got the negative and positive positive goes to a switch then here boom so what you want to do is take this cable and you could cut it or open up the switch and disconnect it from from the switch and just make sure that when you're gonna connect the motor you have both cables positive and negative coming out of the motor and connect that to your 12 volt supply and it should turn on if it doesn't turn on then you have a bad pump if the switch goes bad and your pump is like on like for hours your motor might burn out so you might have to buy a new one and this one goes to a sensor which it turns on a light when your water pump is on or off many boats have it some don't so if you don't have it you can just take it off and seal it thank you guys for watching it's been a pleasure we're enjoying the bahamas right now boom and it's a mess that's how i leave the boat once i'm done working pieces everywhere tools everywhere now i have to pick up everything and so now we know we got a pump working and that's it